Big Bend National Park encompasses over 800,000 acres in a remote part of western Texas. Due to its location, it doesn't receive as many visitors as other national parks, but it's well worth the effort it takes to explore. The park has sprawling deserts, the Chizos Mountain Range, which is the only range totally contained in a single park, and over 100 miles of the Rio Grande River that forms the border between the US and Mexico. My dad and I spent a full day exploring the park, and here's what we did. You can use the time codes below to jump to each specific section and let me know what we left off in the comments. We arrived in the town of Tiralingua the night before and then got up at sunrise to start our day in the park. Heading into Big Bend National Park early in the morning. No one is even manning the entrance station at this time of the morning. Our first destination was the Lost Mine Trail, which is a favorite trail for park visitors. Also, they were doing construction when we went, so you were only able to enter at certain hours, which is why we got up so early to make sure we could get a parking spot. Stop number one in Big Bend National Park, Lost Mine Trail. It's about a four and a half mile trail, and it's one of the most popular in the park. This is 7.15 on a Wednesday. We got the very last parking spot. So, come here early if you want to do this hike. The Lost Mine Trail starts gradual as you make your way up through the sparse trees towards the mountains ahead of you. Already taking a break. As you make your way up, there's some beautiful views through these little windows in the rocks out towards the landscape in front of you. It's interesting to have both cactus and trees with moss or lichen on them on the same trail. We're about a half mile in and 200 feet of elevation and there's some benches if you need a spot to take a break. Continuing on we saw a few deer right next to the trail and Big Bend is actually home to over 75 different mammals. Pretty awesome to see some deer on the trail like that in the morning. They didn't even care that we were there at all. I guess they're used to people and we're not bears or mountain lions, so what is there to worry about? We're already starting to get some nice views of the Big Bend landscape. Also note that there's not really much shade, so it's probably not a great hike in the middle of the day. It might be pretty hot. It's perfect right now though. At a little over a mile into the trail, you reach a saddle area with amazing views in both directions. This was basically the first experience we got to have with how vast and stunning Big Bend is. It's crazy windy up here as we cross this saddle behind us. Amazing views though. Almost lost my hat. As you leave this section, look behind you as it's an amazing vista point for Casa Grande, one of Big Bend's most prominent peaks. There's where the trail started. And the way up here, we're heading up that way. Most of the elevation was pretty gradual on the way up, but this last section, we got about 10 switchbacks to get to the top. Shout out to the trail crew on this one. This trail is incredibly well maintained. Another bench to relax at before the final push. As we continued to climb, we got attacked by the wind, but the trail started to give way to the amazing scenery of the Big Bend landscape. We made it to the summit, it is crazy windy up here, but look at these views. Even though we didn't have a really clear day, it was still impressive with how far you could see across the landscape from up here. Look at the colors out on the mountain right there. It's like blue and yellow. Now this I think is the best spot right here with this rock. What do you think, Pops? Incredible payoff at the end. And not a hard hike particularly, a few uptails, but incredible payoff at the end. 
After walking all the way to the end of the trail to see all the different views from up here, we just sat and soaked it all in before heading back down. Finishing up our snacks and taking in the view, going on to our next spot in Big Bend National Park. We had planned to go to the Chisos Lodge, but because of construction, we weren't able to get there. So instead, we headed down to Panther Junction Visitor Center to see what they recommended we do. So we are gonna hit up the hot springs, but they're closed for COVID, so we're going to Balanced Rock, and then we're doing the drive out to the canyon. The food is a little hard to come by in Big Bend right now. The gas station was the only thing that was open. I had a Lunchable, I've got a tuna salad sandwich, so. Bring your own food or uh, plan to eat at the gas station. For our next stop in the park, we decided to head to Balanced Rock. To get to the trailhead, you have to drive a seven mile rough dirt road. It was passable with a two wheel drive car when we came, but I imagine there's certain times of the year where it isn't. Heading out on our second trail of the day, this time to Balanced Rock. The road out here was a little bit rough, but this is a good family-friendly hike as it's flat most of the whole way and just uphill right at the end. The terrain out here is pretty crazy. It reminds me a lot of Joshua Tree back in Southern California. 75% of this trail is just walking through a wash in the sand back towards the rocks. I see people coming down right there, so I think we are almost at the rock. Balanced rock, quarter of a mile. You can see the cars way back there where we parked. We came through this canyon. Now we're going up that direction. Save your energy for the end as it's a little bit of a scramble to get up to the top. And with all the people, there's balancing rock right there. Pops making it to balanced rock. Pops is six, seven, so that's a pretty big space. Do note that this is a pretty popular spot for pictures in the park, so you're definitely gonna have to wait a little bit if you wanna take a picture with the rock. All right, we're starting the walk back to the car and then on to the scenic drive and the Santa Elena portion of Big Bend. That'll be it for our day. Josh has said how this is one of the least traveled uh, national parks, but it is absolutely incredibly beautiful. It's definitely worth time coming out here. Pops gives it two thumbs up. It took us a little while to get back out to the main road on the seven mile dirt stretch, but eventually we're headed on towards Santa Elena Canyon. This is our last stop in our day in Big Bend. We're gonna go on the drive to Santa Elena Canyon with lots of pullouts along the way for viewpoints. This scenic drive is probably the best thing you can do with one day in the park. It's 30 miles each way to the road's end, but along the way you get great scenic views out towards the vast landscape of Big Bend, and it's a fantastic introduction to the park. This is one of the best viewpoints on the drive. I think it's called Sotal Viewpoint, but hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Definitely stop here. After doing the entire drive, Sotal Viewpoint was by far the best view on the scenic drive. So there's our destination right there. That's the walls of Santa Elena Canyon that we're hiking into once we get there. Pretty crazy because those are 1,500 feet tall, but it doesn't look that tall when you're way out here. From there, we continued our drive to another overlook, this time for a rock formation called Mule Ears. I'd say it looks like Mule Ears. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Before reaching the canyon, we had one more stop and that was at the Castellone Visitor Center. While some of the visitor center was closed because of COVID, you could still look around and see a lot of information plaques about the area's history. There was also a store here as well, but it was closed when we got there. Before you leave, be sure to check out the historic Magdalena House, which is behind the store.
This is where we were hiking earlier this morning and then out there is where the rock was and then we came all the way in and right now we're here at the visitor center and we're making our way to the mouth of the canyon. As you leave the visitor center and head on towards the canyon, there are a few other opportunities to stop and see ruins of some of the homesteads from the area's history. If that's something you're interested in, then keep your eyes peeled as you're driving. There's also another viewpoint on the right that looks back the way you came towards the Chisos Mountains. This is our last viewpoint. It's the viewpoint for Santa Elena Canyon and we're going over here to park and then walk in there. You definitely don't want to miss this one as it's a great way to understand the scale of the canyon before you go hike into it. Heading out on our last trail for our one day in Big Bend National Park. Santa Elena Canyon is incredibly popular and for good reason, it's hard to beat the beauty of this section of the park. You guys look at this incredible view and we still get to go hike this trail up here as well. The Rio Grande River here creates a natural border between the U.S. and Mexico. This river basically serves as the border for 118 miles throughout Big Bend National Park. If you want to hike back into the canyon, it's about a mile and a half round trip with 600 feet of elevation gain. Up on switchbacks. Even though this trail has a decent amount of uphill, I would definitely recommend it as the views of the river and into the canyon are incredible. I've heard from a lot of people though that it's pretty brutal to do in the heat of the summer. Also note that the trail doesn't really lead anywhere, it just kind of ends at the river. So we made it up the switchbacks and now we're just walking down into the canyon. It is absolutely incredible. Much like what I noted in the Carlsbad Caverns video, this is another one of those places that you can never do justice with video footage. Even with my wide angle lens, it was hard to capture the entire canyon, so definitely come see this for yourself. Check out this massive rock right here. I think the end of the trail is on the other side of that. After passing that big rock, we reached the end of the trail, which is where everybody was just hanging out and sitting in the water. We made it to the end of the trail. That's it for one day in Big Bend National Park. Hopefully you enjoyed exploring with us. Definitely get out here and check out this national park and we'll see you on the next video.